Remember that one? Now this is the hybrid. I mixed uh, like the squirrel cage one with like the lens idea. And now there's not that much wind, but it starts to pick up. <laughs> the bottom one doesn't move, even though they're both independent from each other. Like, watch this. I'm able to move it. But the wind just doesn't move it enough. See how it's getting faster now? There's not that much wind either. And I'm low to the ground. A little flapping. Now this one, I'm gonna try to make the generator four, because it looks like it would would do pretty good. Again, I'm gonna try to gear it. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what. Uh, wire gauge I'm going to use. I think I'm going to try to use a 20 or a 16. The magnets are going to take me a long time to get. But I might make a little generator that goes on it real quick just to see what it does. I might see the bottom one's starting to spin. I'm going to stop the top one again. Total stop. It begins. And I think the wind is like maybe five, maybe five mile per hour gusts. Maybe a little bit more than that, but there it starts. If I get it higher up in the air, it would do a lot better. But that will come later. Now I'll show you a close-up of one of the veins. You see it? This is one of the veins. I have the aluminum wrapping around a piece of wood up here, right here, so it catches air right here, just like a lens, and also goes that way. So it cuts through the wind pretty good. I don't have the gust of wind like everyone else does, but, you know, it starts off pretty good. Might be able to gear it, maybe not, don't know. But if I could get, you know, maybe 100, 200 watts at all, if possible, um, I'm gonna see if I could grid tie it because Florida allows you to grid tie it, but more than likely I have to figure out what I what the procedures I have to go through with Florida FPNL. Yeah, I would like to put this around maybe 10 to 15 feet in the air. See, it spins pretty good. The gusts are up there better. There's a little flag right there. Again, the bottom one doesn't move. It needs a, a bigger gust of wind to move that. 
but it don't matter. The top one is like one of the best ones I had. I did make a bigger one if you saw before. I have it apart because just gotta build something up with it. Oh, the bottom one's starting to move. And it's just it's just there. It's not nothing supporting it really. Maybe a cinder block. Yeah, it's picked up quite a little bit of speed now. Can't wait to get it uh, on a actual frame up in the air with a little generator on it just to see what it could do. All right, guys, give me your ideas. See if it's okay, if it looks cool, if it sucks, anything. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.